Hello everyone, this is Kazem with Hassan. Welcome back to another video. So, well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about my journey of hairstyles in Canada. Well, I'm an incoming graduate student who will be starting uh, his master's in Canada from September. So, in this video, I'm going to share about my whole journey from like uh, mailing professors to managing professors. Uh, to applying to universities, etc. And I am also going to uh, share some tips and tricks uh, regarding some higher studies, especially for Canada, because I don't have uh, any such knowledge for USA actually. So let's get started. If I divide my whole higher studies journey, so then I can uh, make some points. So the first point is a timeline. So it's very important to understand the timeline of the application process. So like if you start very late of the deadline of the application, then you might uh, you might not be able to fulfill all the requirements of the of that application process. So you must need to understand the timeline. So in most of the Canadian universities, they offer funds or they accept students in in all terms there are also many universities many where uh, they offer uh, courses in winter and spring but most of them are like self-funded courses so if you're looking for funded opportunities like scholarships and other things then uh, those are actually available in fall term so i'm specifically talking about the fall term which will be starting in every year of september so you have to make your preparations at least one year ahead of time. So suppose you are uh, targeting next fall 23, which uh, which will be next year's September. Okay. So if you target that, then you have to like you have to uh, what can I say? Mail professors from right now, or you have to uh, uh, sit for your IELTS exams and sit for your GRE exams. So let me explain this uh, in a short, in an easy way. If you're targeting fall 23, then you have to uh, sit for IELTS within August or September. Then you need to start mailing professors from like sep early September, I would say. Uh, then you will uh, you will have a high probability of getting the positive responses. Also, that depends on your mailing techniques and uh, your Mail body, etc. So, you make sure you understand the whole timeline. And also, I'd like to mention about the deadlines. Please check the university web website website regularly. Uh, as I am from the CS background, so uh, I usually do check the CS deadlines. In in like most of the CS deadlines are in like uh, early January, I would say, for international students, I guess. Uh, because uh, when most of the universities, the international students' uh, incident deadline is uh, way earlier than the domestic students. So you have to keep that in mind also. And the next point is the IELTS and GRE. So like IELTS is uh, is mandatory, is mandatory for like for the application process. Uh, I don't know about other uh, departments, but in terms of CS, they require. Uh, a bit higher IELTS requirements uh, rather than other departments like uh, if any other department requires 6.5 overall band score uh, then the CS department would ask for 7 or 7.5 at least so please do check about the university requirements also there are some universities who accept the medium of instruction but I would say uh, not go for that I would say better to prepare for your IELTS and uh, give that exam because you must need that else for your visa okay so we do do uh, registration for the IELTS as soon as possible also I would like to talk about the GRE I personally haven't taken the test but I saw many uh, many students uh, took the test and they they got good scores and GRE obviously makes the whole profile package is much more competitive so like if if I give you an example, suppose I'm a student without a GRE score and another student with a GRE score with the same profile, then the application committee will like give priority to the other student who have the same profile but with a GRE score. So that, that makes a bit difference, okay? 
so the third point is the creating an excel sheet of professors well uh, before mailing the professors you have to like uh, based on your profile you have to create an excel sheet that i i am i'm from the domain of suppose you are a domain from machine learning you are most interested in the machine learning sort of research then you have to like find the professors who work with machine learning then you have to create this excel sheet uh, suppose you you are putting your the, their name on the right side then their website the, and you are putting some notes like whether they are taking students for their lab or not so this, this sort of excel sheet will keep will help you to keep the track uh, track of what 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 would it say uh, help you to keep the track of your application process okay so make sure you create an excel sheet of professors otherwise you will like lose the track like, uh, like if any any professor I reply you back he will like uh, like think that you might think that uh, whoa, whoa, uh, haven't I have I mailed him so this sort of things and the fourth thing is the mailing professors well uh, there is a lot of templates in the and out internet where you can find like how to mail professors in effective way I would say uh, keep keep your email short and quips and also I would I would like to say that there are a lot of professors who put specific instruction on their websites uh, like how to email them with the specific things in most of the cases professors uh, want their you your transcripts and your ask report along with your mail so and don't forget uh, forget to make a custom email for each professor because if you send them a generic uh, generic email then there's a high possibility that you might not get any sort of replies so that's the important tip and the fifth step if uh, any professor give you a positive reply then he or she might schedule a interview session with you that could be an introductory session that could be a coding session that could be a uh, anything anything so you have to prepare for the inter for that interview so in most of the cases the first interview uh, will be a primary interview that's totally depend uh, depends on the professor so there's a whole lot of thing to cover in this uh, fifth part because you have to be well be well prepared with your everything usually professors ask about your research interest your uh, previous experience your projects etc and if they like you then they might uh, like proceed another is not they might schedule two or three more meetings with you so that's what it is and if you get a positive feedback from the professor then there's a sixth step who is waiting for you that is applying to the universities and as most of the research based programs are require a prior uh, uh, managing the professor if the professor give you a green signal to apply to the universities then you should apply to the universities apart from research based programs the course based programs do not require any sort of managing professor you can apply uh, to the course based program straight away right after the second step what which is IELTS and GRE so if you are looking for a thesis based masters then you have to follow the one two one two three four five steps and if you are looking for a course based masters then you after uh, following the one and two you can directly jump into the sixth step so this is it this is it uh, and in terms of uh, apply to the universities make sure you have uh, managed uh, or you have what can I say you have uh, make a credit card for it because uh, there are there's a nominal fee about the application process it might be 110 Canadian dollars or 125 Canadian dollars so you have to like what can I say you have to manage those things as well and the other the seventh thing is the bonus tip which is you have to showcase your uh, skills and uh, other works through your personal website you can create your website um, like using Google's site or like the github.io etc you if you have any sort of publications then that would definitely help you a lot because most of the professors want uh, a sort of research experience and obviously it's just CGPA well that's that's something uh, that sh I should discuss that in most of the Canadian universities requires high CGPA but if you have a uh, low CGPA then uh, there's no point of losing hope but 
but you are uh, you need to uh, like uh, make your profile very very strong with other things like publications good gre score good IELTS score good job experience etc so that can uh, help you to make your profile stronger also job experience plays a vital role in sort of uh what can i say in sort of managing professor uh because uh, i would say if i say you uh from my experience that my job experience uh played a huge uh, important role in my managing professor because uh, i was in a relevant job role so this helped me a lot so these are the uh, seven steps of my whole journey and i would like to uh, answer all sort of your queries in the comment box uh, please do let me know if you have any kind of queries so thanks for watching